just going to just let him stride a little bit because he's a real he's a horse about rhythm and then he's got that really good kick afterwards. All the best. Thank you. It's an interesting point there. The potential speed map, as good as this field is, the thing it's lacking is genuine speed on paper. So. Herman Hesse will be prominent from an inside draw. You'd think Vow and Declare might be able to push forward. Hit the road. Jack outside of him is a horse with speed. Muramasa, as we heard there from Natalie, does have that tactical versatility. But will we see something written outside of its pattern, or will it be a slowly run race? We'll learn very shortly, Nigel. We will. Here we go. The 137th Ladbrokes Geelong Cup. It's been the pathway for Media Puzzle, Americane, and Junaden to glory on the first Tuesday in November. Round. Mission of love. Currently a $41 chance takes an outside alley. Vow and Declare goes up to barrier number five. Hit the road. Jack is about to join them, and that will leave Interpretation and Mr. Wolfgang, who's halved its quote, Mr. Wolfgang, 51 into 26 after an eye catcher last start. Interpretation goes in, and Mr. Wolfgang is going to be the final one. Unusual legacy, standing patiently next to one smooth operator. A half million dollar race, Mr. Wolfgang takes one more turn. 2,400 metres the distance of the Ladbrokes Geelong Cup. Mr. Wolfgang is in and the field is set. They are ready and they're racing in the Geelong Cup. Hit the road, Jack jumped away well with Vow and Declare and Herman Hess from barrier number one is holding its position. El Bodegon is right there as well, almost four across the track. Now out wide, Mission of Love is also searching across. Mr. Wolfgang's the widest. Now Unusual Legacy has gone to the outside of the field and I, it's going to be pulled up, I reckon, Unusual Legacy here. There's just something not quite right with Unusual Legacy and, and the favourite has been pulled out of the race. So it's an absolute sensation here at Geelong. They leave the running with just over 1,800 metres to go and taking the lead is Mission of Love by two links hip the road, Jack and Herman Hess. They were followed by Vow and Declare who's one off the fence and Muramasa around him a length away the map and then came Mr Wolfgang who's three wide in midfield between horses El Bodegon a length away and made. Then came one smooth operator Birdman. Interpretation is at the end of the field an unusual legacy has been pulled out of the race. They swing towards the back section past the 1400 metres and the leader is Mission of Love by a neck and slowed it off from hip the road Jack. Herman Hess is third and fourth is Muramasa getting a lovely trail at the 1200 metres and halfway. A length and a half the map on the inside of Vow and Declare and Mr Wolfgang will sleep well tonight three wide. A length and a half are made. One smooth operator is three wide but has the back of Mr Wolfgang at the 1000. Then came El Bodegon a length in Interpretation and Birdman is last of the group. Speed's been only even at best where Mission of Love is the leader from Hit the Road, Jack and Herman Hess at the 800 metres. Mr Wolfgang is sliding up out three wide to fourth and then Muramasa behind those one smooth operator followed by the map who hasn't worked at all. Interpretation's getting going and there's Birdman set alight from the back of the field. Gets to midfield out very wide with a looping run from Vow and Declare El Bodegon and a made as last as they pack around the corner corner in the cup. 400 metres to go. It's Mission of Love from Hit the Road. Jack Herman Hess has got up on the inside. Mr Wolfgang, one smooth operator, join in now. At the 250, it's one smooth operator with Mr Wolfgang. Then Herman Hess, one smooth operator, goes to the front from Mr Wolfgang and comes away. One smooth operator. Three legs in front, four legs in front, and one smooth operator is going to win it easily. Interpretation has got up for second from Muramasa, then a wall of them. A maid was right there with also the map and behind those Herman Hess. Back behind those horses, Mr. Wolfgang. Hip the road, Jack Vow and declare mission of love. Birdman got tired and at the tail of the field, El Bodegon and looking over to the 1800 metres, unusual legacy has been uh, pulled up out of the race and has uh, broken down. A dramatic Geelong Cup from start to finish. We wait for more information on an unusual legacy. That is sad news indeed. But the story is Craig Williams has won his sixth Geelong Cup. 
One smooth operator goes alongside Savrocker in 2000, Mandela in 2006, The Fuzz the following year, Juniden in 2011, and Caravan rolls on in 2014. But maybe it's the fourth of those cups, Juniden, we need to hone in on because one smooth operator has announced himself as a contender with a stunning performance to make the Geelong Cup a one-act affair in 2024. Interpretation, he looks to be on song, perhaps. He ran good closing sectionals, as Ben referenced, in the Bart Cummings. He's got home as the best of the rest into second. A similar story in similar colours for Miramasa for Busson and Young. That will top him off ahead of the first Tuesday in November. And the Kiwi, Mr Wolfgang, was the best of the rest hanging on. But one smooth operator made the Geelong Cup a one-act affair. He was 14 into 11 on the VOP and Craig Williams has a sixth Geelong Cup in the 21st century and Brian Allison we'd mentioned at pre-race he's had good experience